Welcome to the TSX C-Suite interview series. Today we are joined by Nick Bitterswick, the CEO of UGE International. Nick, welcome to the program today. Thanks, Stephen. So we're going to jump right in. So Nick, you've recently announced some, uh, some new projects in New York, in Ontario, in the Philippines. You operate internationally. Can you tell us a little bit more about UGE and some of the biggest areas of growth for the business? Yeah, so UGE, we're a commercial solar developer. So that means we develop, build, finance, uh, commercial and community solar projects in right now those three markets. Um, the US and Philippines are right now our biggest growth markets. Uh, and the projects we've announced in both those markets are ones where our, uh, our real estate clients that we're working with, we're developing these projects for them, we're financing them, and then they're developing uh, or, or providing like long-term returns for, um, for, for UGE and for our investors over time. The Ontario one, you know, a part of our story is that over the last couple of years, the Canadian market had been strong really for about 10 years. Uh, but with the government change in 2018, the market really contracted. And so at that point in time, we, um, we, we downsized our Canadian business just based on the, the market here. But we also had so much expertise that we were able to take that and develop a engineering and consulting business. And that group's been doing projects all over the world providing that expertise. And so the, the recent projects we've been announcing from that group um, have been you know, from Canada and US all the way over to places like Africa, helping other clients um, develop the same types of projects we were doing in Ontario for years. Okay, fantastic. Now, one of the other big questions that investors are asking all the time is around ESG. And obviously UGE is positioned really strongly in that space. What would you say around the ESG factor and what makes UGE an attractive investment proposition for investors looking to invest in that space? Yeah, well, you know, what we're seeing in 2020 is actually uh, like a renewal of interest from capital into investments that check that ESG box. And, you know, we all remember kind of, I'd say 2005 to 2010, there was a lot of interest around, I guess we called it clean tech at that point in time, um, you know, very newer technologies. What's happened over that time frame is like the cost of solar, other technologies as well, has come down so much that now we're talking about the cheapest form of energy in most places. And we're talking about like really viable opportunities. And so we're seeing pension funds, all sorts of large sources of money um, come into this space and uh, you know that's certainly welcome. Well exciting. So we've known each other since 2014. What would you say a TSX Venture listing means for, for the company and for your business? Yeah so we, we went public in, in 2014 as a very young company um, and in that time you know we had to iterate the business, find out where our strengths were. Um, you know, we were able to make a couple acquisitions that really helped build out that platform so uh, you know, historically, UG was good on the first third, the develop, um, the, the build, we, we acquired that. We were able to do that with the currency we had as a public company. Uh, and then we were able to you know, raise enough money, growth capital, and build out the financing side of the business as well, uh, both on the corporate side and on the, the green bond side, something that we've done a couple of raises of that uh, so investors can invest in our projects as well. So, um, you know, and lastly, I think, being international, having that credibility of being a public company and, and being able to point to the, the TSXV listing, you know, I think that's been invaluable as well. Well, great to hear. Uh, one last question, a little bit more on the fun side, but being in the clean tech space and solar panels on some amazing projects, uh, what does your family think you do for a living? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, my family and I think the investment market sometimes too kind of tries to figure that out. You know, we're not a manufacturer, we don't make products, um, and for that matter, we're not a technology company either. Really, we're more akin almost to real estate. We're, we're finding good projects, we're developing those projects, um, and making sure they have good returns over the long term. And uh, so that's the message I've been trying to get across to them, uh, just like I am the capital markets. Well, fantastic. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Stephen.